Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make an RFID cloner using Arduino and an RFID module. So first, here's what you need. An Arduino Uno, a RFID model for the, a module for the Arduino, and two RFID uh, cards. So I have one card and one fob which has the RFID in it. And finally, you'll need a bunch of male to female wires to connect to the RFID module. So now I'm going to show you the code. Alright, so here is the code. So first in the beginning we're going to define some variables. So we're going to define byte data 6416. So this is going to be the data from one of the RFID cards that we read. We're going to save it in this variable data as byte. And then we have these other variables I'll explain later on the code which are defined to be zero right now, count, initial, and state. Then we're including some libraries defined. This is just for built-in stuff for the RFID module. And the void setup, we haven't changed anything here either. This is also built-in stuff like this mfrc522.pcd in it. This is basically just all for initial initialization and stuff. And over here, we have byte readback block 18, which is going to be an array of length 18 and it's a byte type which is going to be used um, is going to be used later to read it and now in our um, void loop if state equals zero which it is right now um, this this part of the code over here is to um, check if a card is present and then select that card so it selects the card then it says prints on the serial monitor card selected reading and saving data and then if initial is zero which it is right now again we have a for loop, it's going to read each block and then it's going to save it in that data array over here. It's going to save the information from that block in the data array and then we're going to increment initial and state so that it doesn't do it again. And um, over here we have dump to serial, so it's going to dump the info so that you can actually see what the information in the card was and then it's going to print on the serial monitor and replace the card that you want to clone now. So and then another any delay of five seconds, so five thousand milliseconds. Then over here, else if state equals one, so if state equals one, that means that the first step had already been done. So it again selects a new card, and now if initial equals one, meaning that it had been done, and count equals zero, meaning the writing part hasn't been done. So this so is the reading part where state was zero and in, where all the variables are zero basically, and now state is one, meaning we can start the writing part and initial is 1 and count is 0 so we can start the writing part so over here we have another for loop um, so it basically goes through uh, 1 through 64 and it's gonna write uh, so first of all over here we have if f um, mod 4 is not equal to 3 this is because all of the um, data numbers like um, that are um, 3 mod 4 like 3 7 etc they are actually data blocks and you don't actually write anything on that you don't change those uh, those are built in and then so we're for those ones that aren't those ones we're going to do write block f comma data f which and data f is the value from that array so basically what it was in the other card so this is a cloning part and then uh, it's going to print on serial minor block written for each of those blocks and then we have count plus plus to increment that and finally we have cloning finished and state minus minus so that it can be done again so that is the code basically and if you're wondering what these write block and read block functions were they are defined over here uh, this is basically um, I'm not going to go through this because this is like built in functions and stuff that you don't need to know a lot about and so yeah we have the write block function and the read block function so yeah, uh, that's the code. Now I'll show you a demonstration. Alright, so here is the demonstration. So I'm going to clone the information from this card onto this fob over here. So first I'm going to upload the code. It's compiling first. And uploading. And it's done uploading. So I'm gonna open the serial monitor. And so I'm gonna, it says scan in my favorite classic card. So I'm gonna scan this card. And as you can see, it says block was read and it's printing out the data from the card. Now it says place card to clone now. 
So I'm gonna place this on the RFID sensor now. And it's saying block was written for all of them and cloning finished. So now I'm gonna go in the, uh, to prove that it actually did clone it, I'm gonna go in the examples over here and down to um, the RFID module's name, which is MFRC522. Go on dump info, which gives you the data of the card. I'm gonna upload this and then we can compare the data and see that it's actually the same and meaning they like cloned correctly so open the senior monitor again so I'll scan this first and so as you can see like there's a bunch of random information but to be to make sure we'll see some specific lines like line 3 over here has this FF07 like that and like over here line 40 has a bunch of like 50, 40, 41, 59, 40, whatever and so we'll scan this now and as you can see it's the same like over here we have line 3 that is the same um, this line over here is the same line 54 is the same as what it was over here and meaning that it has cloned correctly. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.